Hi everyone, it's Andy with RDP Soft. In today's video, I'm going to show you the session searching features available in our brand new Remote Desktop Reporter Analysis Client, which is part of our new version 2.7 release. In a server-based computing environment, one of the biggest things admins struggle with is trying to determine what users were doing in their sessions right before the server started having problems. For example, maybe your network monitoring system is showing a lot of inbound or outbound traffic from your RDS server on a specific port, but you're not sure what user session was causing that activity. If you have the remote desktop reporter agent running and collecting data from your user sessions on your servers, you can use our analysis client to do a criteria search for the user sessions that had specific port activity. And then you can do a deep dive to find out exactly what programs they were running in that session and what programs were bound to what ports. So let me show you a quick example of this. I'll go in here and I will select UDP TCP port activity. And we'll see the list of all ports that were used in all sessions in this time frame. So maybe we just want to look at uh, SSL activity. We can do that, port 443. We'll do a quick search. Came back with several user sessions here. And uh, we can always just go ahead and uh, jump in uh, to any of these sessions. Okay, so we've opened up a session here based on our port search, and we quickly can see here in the network connection section which processes were bound to uh, what ports, both locally and remotely. Um, and if I want to look at my SSL ports, I can just uh, sort up there and go through here and step through, and it looks like Foxit Reader had made some connections uh, via SSL to this address. And notice also, if you want to do a little more research here, you can always select to research uh, that particular process on Google, what that is. You can also go and research the uh, address it was connecting to on port 443 as well, if you're wanting to check out for anything that might be possibly suspicious. Here we go. Similarly, you can do searches by process name to look for specific program use or you can even search by the application caption title. If you know the approximate date when an incident happened, you can further restrict your search by that date range. Thanks for taking time to view our video. In our next video, we'll look at how you can routinely review how much memory and CPU your users are consuming in their sessions.